like Surfside, for example? Yeah, that's correct. And, and, and the reason that that ruling doesn't apply to Surfside, and the reason that ruling doesn't apply to North Myrtle Beach is that North Myrtle Beach and Surfside were not involved in the lawsuit, okay? They were not plaintiffs. Somebody said earlier, didn't the judge say all the plaintiffs? Well, uh, there was only one plaintiff. Okay, this would be the equivalent of one of y'all filing a lawsuit and saying, well, how about the other guy? He was over there. Well, he was over there, but he wasn't involved in the lawsuit because he's not a plaintiff. And if you're not a part of the lawsuit, you, you're not part of the order. Uh, we, we had the meeting today to get legal advice on the lawsuit to see if there was anything that we needed to do because Monday is a new month and a new fiscal year, a new everything. And uh, if there was anything that we needed to do prior to that, then today was the day to, to get that advice and decide. We got the legal advice from our lawyers in our executive session, and based on that, we are staying the course and moving forward. We're looking forward to going to court and, and whenever that will be, and there's no telling when that will be. So what does that mean moving forward, staying the course? Is the county still going to collect those, that portion of the hospitality fee from those other municipalities? It, it, yes, that is correct because the order says, the order deals with the city of Myrtle Beach and that is the only city that's in the order, that's the only city that's in the, the paperwork that the, that's been filed with the court that's re resulted in the order. So we're gonna follow the order. The order says that we are not gonna collect with the, within the city limits of Myrtle Beach, so we won't do that um, because the inverse of that, uh, or conversely speaking, that you know it doesn't say North Myrtle Beach or Surfside, and we're gonna move forward with our collections with those. That may change later. If it does, we'll follow the order of the court and follow the law. Is, are y'all gonna try to budget some of these funds? Uh, I know there's a part of the budget will allow it to be passed by resolution, right? Pro yeah, it, it does, but we will probably, because the lawsuit is uh, the way it is, we probably will hold it and put it in a, an escrow of some sort and figure out what happens because, you know, we could be in court on motions or injunctions and things of that nature, temporary type court orders, relief seeking uh, from the judge uh, in, in a couple of weeks or 30 days or a couple of months. Uh, the lawsuit itself may not end for a year. So uh, yeah, we would probably just hold on to that and see where we are with that. And two, what does today's decision by y'all mean for people living in North Myrtle Beach and Surfside where there's also ordinances saying they're gonna collect it come July 1? Well, that's a good question. Uh, I don't know how the cities will, uh, I mean, there's no court order telling Surfside that they can do or, or not do. There's no court order telling the county that they cannot do or not do or, or in North Myrtle Beach. So we've been doing it for years. We'll continue to do it until further ordered by the court. In a phone recorded message today with Patrick Dowling, public information officer of the city of North Myrtle Beach, Dowling stated, there's no doubt in our mind that what the county is doing is illegal. The city of North Myrtle Beach sent out letters to all businesses on Friday telling them not to collect the 1.5% hospitality tax moving forward. Dowling said he was aware that the cities of Surfside Beach, Conway, and other cities sent out similar letters last week. Dowling stated emphatically, Horry County is not authorized to collect these funds in our city and those funds will not be collected.